Hey bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining in for a planner sesh. So bestie, as you can see, I have my dashboard plan with me spread here and you guys we're gonna write in my plans i really want to see and test out how i like the spread and where i'm at with the dashboard currently for writing in my plans so let's plan the week if you want to see how i do it stay tuned <music> Okay, Bestie, so let's get started. So I'm excited about this dashboard, you guys. If you have not checked out the plan with me to this spread, then definitely go check that out and don't miss that. But I did use the Woodland Seasons sticker book, which I love. And then I incorporated a couple of colorful boxes out of the Colorful Boxes Mega Sticker Book from the Happy Planner. Now here are all the pins, you guys. If you watched any of my writing in my planner videos before, my after the pin videos, and you know, I love my apology too. I have three different sizes is the 0 0.7 0 0.38 and 0 0.5 and then i did pull this tumble marker as well as a paper made flare pen and for the tumble marker i don't really know if i'm gonna have room you know to write this in but we'll see and but primarily i know i use the paper made flare in my 0 0.7 and maybe my 0 0.5 all right so we're gonna just get started you guys so first up I just automatically feel like I need to fill out a to-do list <laughs> and so that's what I left this area over here kind of a little bit blank for it bothered me you guys to be honest with you because I was just like this has my spread look off balance but I feel like I'm gonna feel better in this video by getting the all the things down and just kind of seeing how much I need so I can add stickers to it too so we shall see Okay, so I'm going to write in to-do list with my paper made flare and then let's get in some tasks. So first up, of course, I always write out that I need to check my email, y'all. Like my email, listen, I have a business email that I have to check. I have a personal business email that I have to check, which is like for social media and stuff. Um, and then I have my personal email as well. So it's like three different email boxes that I'm like going through i feel like daily honestly but i always try to t check it at the top of the week to make sure that i didn't miss anything I, there are people that i need to respond back to that i haven't responded to and sometimes you guys this task get pushed off like because i don't get through all of them you know so it's just it's an ongoing thing so that's why it always goes at the top of the week and then of course i have to like review my budget and call my bank um, and check my account and all of that stuff and then I want to put some things on the Facebook marketplace y'all this been kind of on my list like it's been an ongoing list honestly ever since we moved into our new house and so it's just things you know you want to get rid of um, and so but I would rather see if someone wants it and then of course if they don't then of course I'm going to donate some things too and so that's a whole thing and I feel like that's been on my list every week and then of course I have to clear out my phone storage y'all because I do a lot of like reels and videos and stuff on my phone so gotta clear that out and I have to put that on the list pretty much every week now I feel like just to kind of declutter it and then of course like I need to do some stuff around the house like organizing under our sinks yeah I'm like on this like whole kick right okay and maybe you guys can help me because I am into the clear bin organizers um, I'm trying to decide how I want to do our fridge and pantry for sure but under my sinks and drawers and stuff like that like I just love it and like in my previous house I had like plastic organizers but this time I kind of want to go like the clear route and so I've bought a couple of things already I um, got some home edit items um, already so comment below if you have any suggestions how do you organize like all the things in your house and stuff like that I would love to hear that and then of course I wrote down like you know I'm trying to get the pantry and fridge like I want to decide on what I'm gonna do for that and everything it's probably gonna be something similar and then I have to get some shoes repaired and then I need to fix some links and then I'm writing down here in this bottom box in like the little note section of the dashboard I created like two main key focus boxes and I wanted to put some bills here that I need to pay and then also I need to do something very important and that is for our address with some of the other like places around town and stuff so I need to do that <laughs> so I'm gonna write that in a focus box 
Okay, so now that I kind of got that, you guys, I was thinking, okay, for this get it done section, what am I going to use that for? And so this is what, when I was planning out the spread, I was trying to decide what I'm going to use different areas for. And I feel like the get it done section would be great for chores because I just feel like that makes sense. And then I feel like that bottom section I can use for another list. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and write in what I do know. I got going on for the week and first up I'm gonna write in some birthdays and it is my mother-in-law's birthday this week and so I'm gonna write in that it's her birthday on the 21st and then I also have my nephew's birthday his birthday is on the 23rd so we're gonna write that in as well and y'all I just decided to just kind of write in the spread um, one thing that I was a little bit nervous about with the dashboard and I I shouldn't say nervous but one thing that I knew that I probably would change especially with how I decorated the spread um, is to not use icons as much maybe just use functional bullet points and things and I even thought about maybe using some bullet points and stuff like my checklist stencil but I don't think I'm gonna use icons and typically in all of my spreads I use some type of icon but I just decided I'm gonna just write in with this one okay so here's another decision that I made as well I'm gonna use this top box or this like top left uh, weekly section as a schedule um, because currently I'm using I'm like kind of on a schedule where I have certain things that I want to focus on office and certain things I want to focus on content because being an entrepreneur you gotta like manage all the things and so I'm splitting my up my days and that's how I'm like living my life right now y'all and it's working honestly it's working it's giving me time to like batch create content but not too much to where I stay current with the content and fresh with my ideas because sometimes I feel like with batch creating if I try to batch create all my content for the month I feel like I would get towards like the middle of the month and feel like I can't I don't want to use that content anymore so I'm learning to pace myself with that and this schedule has been working for me so I'm going to map out this schedule here um to where I give myself two content days to kind of like you know prep for whatever I got going on this week as well as the following week and then of course I have you know my office days where I do some specific work for the office and then I have a team meeting on Monday I always write that in so that's gonna definitely go on Monday in a focus box and okay, so you guys notice I love Saturday and Sunday off because those are not like work days for me. I kind of do some work on Saturdays just a little bit, but most of the time I don't. I try to like leave those free. So that way if I need to do work, I can. If I don't need to do work, I can like use it as a family day or whatever. And so I'm going to leave those blank for right now until I decide what all, you know, we plan to do. And then I'm going to write in that I do have a team meeting, though, <laughs> right after I say I don't do work, y'all. I got a little bit of work on this Saturday, okay? Like I said, I sometimes do. And so I have a meeting on Saturday mornings, and sometimes that's the only time people can meet and stuff. So it just kind of helps to go ahead and knock it off at the top of the weekend or the top of a Saturday um, because it's the most convenient time for a lot of people on our team. So, boom, that's what we do. And then we have house church on Wednesday. And of course, I got to write that in because I got to prep for that. And as well as like you guys know, we eat together and stuff and your girl be cooking. OK, sometimes I don't cook y'all. Sometimes let me tell y'all what has been my saving grace. OK, in case you are ever a part of like some potlucks or you ever like, you know, gather with friends and want to bring things. Y'all Sam's, which has been like my store right like I love to buy in bulk but like their food section has really saved me a lot of times like I love their fruit trays I love their meat department I love definitely like all of the pastries and stuff like that like desserts and stuff that's come in handy um and then too when you're making things for a larger group being able to buy things in bulk is always super super handy and so Sam's has like saves your girl a lot of days like a lot of weeks like if I need to pick up something extra just to go along with whatever we're having that's been great super super great so just in case y'all were ever um 
you know, doing some events and things and you don't know what to bring, check your local Sam's. I know a lot of places have Costco too, and I'm pretty sure they have food there. But like your bulky store, your stores that sell in bulk, check those because they, they tend to do a really good job with like things like that. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, write in that I have church on Sunday. <laughs> and y'all, I did write in on Friday. My husband and I will be going to a football game. It's like a rivalry. Well, a new rival. New rivalry game for my high school that I grew up, that I went to. And so it's going to be a pretty fun event. I hope to see some people that I graduated with or I went to school with. And, you know, just some people from my hometown and stuff. Because, you know, that's always good to, like, reconnect and stuff. And um, I'm going to also write here on Monday that I need to cook dinner because that's like a task. I'm not going to put that over in the task list because I'm going to actually cook dinner on a specific day. So some of these areas, I feel like it would make sense for me to write the task on the day because I know I want to do it on that day. And another thing is to go shopping with my husband because we are looking for some new appliances. And so we're in the shopping process for that trying to figure out which ones we want exactly so we're going to do that and we're looking for a couple of other like key pieces for our house and stuff so, which honestly you guys i'm really excited about because you know we get to buy new things right and get to like redecorate and reset up and stuff so i'm just i'm enjoying the process okay so next on saturday i want to write that i have to uh, help my friend um, it's her daughter's Sweet 16 party, and so I um, had told her I would help her decorate. So I need to write in, you know, that I need to do that to make sure I remember Saturday morning. Because we're going to actually do it before my meeting and go in early. So I'm going to write that in. That's pretty fun. She has a super cute theme. She's having a, a tea party, you guys. And I thought that was so cute and just so her. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be beautiful. I'm excited to set up with my friend for that. And then I know I need to um, actually write over here that I need to do some prep. I did put on Wednesday that I need to prep the food, but I need to prep for the actual like group and everything. So I wanted to put that task in on my little task list. And then on Thursday, here's another task that I do on a specific day. It's just kind of like a weekly routine thing for me, um, which is my beauty routine. I've talked about this before, you guys. But, you know, just try to keep up the maintenance, okay? Just the maintenance. And I found that it's easier to do that when you have a specific day that you kind of dedicate to that. And dedicate to yourself, you know. So I just like pamper myself a little bit more. And it's coming into the weekend, which I feel like sometimes the weekend can get super busy and stuff. But I always feel like I'm prepared when I go this route. Like, you know, I don't have to worry about like if something pop up on Friday and we have an event to go to. I don't have to worry about my legs not being shaved. You know what I mean? So I don't know. That's why I picked Thursday. And it's just it's worked out. OK, so now let's flip through the book and see what I can find. I do know I want to use these flags. And so we're going to pull some of those. And maybe put them on Tuesday and Friday. I did talk about pulling out my stencil. But I don't know. I was like. I had. I just am itching to use some type of icon sticker. And this is just filling in the blank. Okay. For me. So. This whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and pull those. So, so I'm going to pull like this little maroon one. I guess you could say it's maroon. And then we're going to pull a green one. All right, so now I feel like I have a little room to write. Like, I can call out some things for those days. And so, here's something else that I need to write in, which is my chores. So, we're going to go ahead and get that off the brain. Um, and I'm going to make a chore list. So, now I'm thinking, okay, I could use my checklist for this, but I think it would make sense if I pull bullet points. So, that way, bullet points will be on this side of the spread. And we're going to just make a little arrow, and I'm going to write that these are my chores. Okay, even though I didn't make, like, a chore label for it or, like, pull a chore sticker for it. I think that's fine. And so, we're going to pull some of these, and I'm thinking, like, a red one. I think that'll look good on this side versus green, which I'm out of the green. There might be some more in the book, but out of it. So we're going to put some little red bullet points down. 
Y'all, it's coming together, okay? And like, okay, so let me tell you where I'm at with the spread currently. I feel like I'm able to write a lot of things down. So I don't have a room problem like I thought I would have. Like I thought that I would kind of run out of room to write things. And I feel like that's not true. So that gives me peace about planning out my plans in a dashboard. Um, however, I am a little bit like less on the creative side of this spread and more so on the functional side um, with the dashboard. So I'm feeling like the dashboard is definitely making me focus on function because typically in my after the pins, I like to add some type of decor element as I go add more stickers and stuff. But I'm finding that I'm only adding in functional stickers and not decorative ones. Hence my icons, y'all. So that's a whole thing. So that's definitely a difference from how I typically plan. Now I'm going to go into my colorful boxes book because I remember there were some long skinny stickers in here. And because I don't like how that little bullet point is all centered. So I'm like either I can start the list on down or I can actually put something in that white space. And I have a lot. Okay. So I am like you guys know in the process we getting settled in our new house and so still got some more unpacking to do okay and i'm taking my time with this process because i want to make sure that even though i decluttered before we moved i want to make sure there are things that actually the things that fit in this new house that go with the you know the feel that we're going for that they make sense and so a lot of the stuff that I'm unpacking and stuff like that, I want to make sure ma makes sense, which is why I still have an ongoing like sale list for Facebook Marketplace and then an ongoing donation pile. So it's a process, you guys. And like I said, I'm actually really enjoying it. And so what I'm going to do instead of make this a task, I'm going to like kind of put it in bold. Here's another thing. I was itching to use this Tombow marker. So here's where I'm going to do it at to just appease my craving <laughs> and i'm gonna go ahead and write unpack finish unpacking in this tumble marker and outline it with my um pilot g 2.38 pen and then i can write the rest of my cleaning list down underneath it so since that's a big kind of like chore task that i have um and i'm doing it piece by piece room by room and y'all, the biggest area that I feel like I'm having to like unpack, that's still not unpacked, you guys, is my creative studio. And I feel like, and that's what I'm calling it, y'all. I don't know if I've said that, but like, I know a lot of people call theirs their craft room and stuff, but mine is going to be like a content creator planner room. And I cannot wait to show you guys when it gets finished. I just have to like make a trip to Ikea because there are some Ikea pieces that I want. And there are, there's no local Ikea here close to me. Like the closest one is, well, I mean, I've, I could go to several different cities, but the closest one is still about four hours away. So I got to make a trip up there. And right now I feel like I'm just living in the storage that I had prior to. Like I have like the closet that's in the room that I'm using. It's like my got my sticker storage bins um, stacked up, but not all of them fit on that um, in that closet row. And so it's a whole process, you guys. And I feel like I have not unpacked my planners completely. I've unpacked some of them, but not all of them with some of the stories that I have and I'm trying to decide on a new desk set up that I want to set up because um, I feel like I want to make sure I maximize the space and can use it for all things and so it's a process I cannot wait to share it with you guys so I really can't I'm excited about it okay so I wrote in my cleaning list and that is of course I do need to still clean the studio so I did put that on there like you know dust and all of that stuff and everything even and I'm still try to organize it some and then um of course the kitchen and common area and dining room bedroom bathrooms um and then I need to clean my makeup <laughs> that's always a chore list task for me now here in this bottom note section this little list section that I made which I really like that I did this I'm going to make a to buy list because I feel like that's another thing that's ongoing I feel like there are things that I'm finding that you know I need to buy you know, it's like, oh, I didn't get enough of these. Like, prime example, the Swifter um, dusters completely ran through that pack. And so, and that was because, you know, we did a lot of cleaning before we moved in. And then 
you know, now that we live here, it's like we got to clean. So I need to restock up on some of that. And I should have just went to Sam's, y'all. That's the stuff I need to be buying in bulk. I buy a lot of food in bulk. I need to buy like that. I need to buy dishwasher tabs, detergent, paper towel tissues. Paper towel tissues I do buy in bulk. So I need to buy more of the cleaning stuff, really, in bulk. And so I got that on the list. I do have paper towel and tissue that I need to buy some more of. So yes, yeah, it's definitely got to be a Sam's run. Um, Swifter, I have to, um, I need to buy some Clorox. And then I have a couple of other things like green tea. I love tea, y'all. Love tea. And one thing I'm excited to create is like me a whole tea bar. I know people make coffee bars, but and my husband drinks coffee. So I'm going to like do something for him too, but. I cannot wait to make me a tea bar, okay? And a hot cocoa bar for, like, winter. Oh, it's going to be a thing, y'all. It's going to be a thing. I'm excited. All right. So, now that we got kind of, like, a little to buy list going, let me flip through the book and see. I'm looking for something because, like, I feel like my task list, I can put something else there. Like, I need an errands list. And so, I'm like, okay, am I done with all my tasks, though? And I'm just going to kind of honestly make myself done. I feel like I have all of it out of my brain that I need to do. And I even added one more, which is to, like we're planning a vacation. So I need to look at some more of those options um, that we're looking, we're considering. So that's the thing, you guys. So I did put that on the task list. So I'm going to just make this an errands list. And of course, like I just said, we got to go to Walmart and Sam's. And I do need to go to Joanne and I need to go to at home because, you know, the organizational stuff and everything and some decor stuff, too, because I feel like they have some they've had some cute stuff in there the last couple of times I went in that I might want to look at. And then I need to go to the cleaners and I actually need to buy some new makeup. So we're going to put Ulta on the list. If I can make it to that one and do that one, I will. But it's not like. I know that by the end of the month, I need to replenish some of my staples. Okay, so now that I got that, you guys, I feel like the left side, the whole dashboard look is good, right? Like, I feel like it's good to go. And so now I just need to finish off the days and things that I have for the days. And so here's something that I want to write on Sunday because I do it every week, which is my weekly prep. And a part of that is my meal plan and watering my plants i just feel like it's easier to prep for the week on sundays you know every good week starts off with well that might not be true but i feel like if you're prepared on sundays you tend to set yourself up for having a good week so that's my whole thought process behind that plus i like to remember like to keep my plants on a schedule so that i don't forget about them and so I always put that down and then I have um got some other things I need to write in on Monday actually and Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday so let's go ahead and fill out this schedule so I know on Saturday typically on Saturdays you guys me and my husband I was trying to decide where I want to write this but I'm gonna write it in the little scheduling section and we, we watch football we are sports lovers okay we love pretty much all of them and football season is definitely one of our favorite seasons so we're gonna watch us some football and maybe even put in a movie or something we don't have plans necessarily to go out on saturday for anything so it's probably be like a little you know day in like our day in or night in at the house and you know do some more stuff around the house and stuff but definitely we're watching football and then Sunday, I kind of want to make Sunday a little self-care day, you guys. So for me, you know, just do a little something for myself. So I'm going to put that on my schedule. And then as far as Monday, I need to definitely track packages because, y'all, I got so many different things. And I need to make sure um, they show up. <laughs> I got some stuff coming that I'm waiting on. So they need to show up. I hope they show up. And then I want to definitely have a planner sesh like outside of this one because I need to like do my journal and I got to do um, some other things in my planner like catch up in my on my receipts and my budget planner and stuff like that. So that's what I mean by planner sesh. 
And then for Tuesday, we got a couple of repairs that we got to do. Um, well, more so my husband. I mean, I'm going to assist a little bit. Like, but yeah, that's more of a task. But I know it's something that we plan to do. So I'm going to write that in for Tuesday. And then thinking like I got the thinking fingers on you guys. I need to uh, set up a lawn care appointment. Um, with the guy that's going to cut our grass to make sure I know when he's coming. And the reason why that is important, because y'all know I film videos and I don't like to do it when it's like, you know, noisy outside to the best of my ability. So I want to make sure I'm on point with that. And then I need to write in that um, my husband wants to go to um, the local parade. One of the high schools here is having a parade for the homecoming. And so, uh, we're probably going to go to that because we like to do community events and stuff. And so, that's just to be something good to get out with the community. And that's on fr on Thursday, actually. So, I'm right there, there. And shout out to my husband, you guys, because, you know, I have to check with him. Like, am I missing something like that we have going on this week? We do have like a Google calendar that we sync together. But sometimes, like, he'll say, oh, I want to do this, but he don't put it in the calendar. And so I have to make sure I always check with him. And I knew that was something that he wanted to do. And another thing, even though I wrote in like on the weekly section up at the top that we we're going to be watching football and maybe have a, a movie night, we may actually do that with some friends and so or family. <laughs> so I'm going to um, write that in as a family day first and I'm going to put that on Saturday um, so it kind of coincides with the schedule, I guess you could say. And then we have to, uh, we're going to help my, some family members, which is why I'm kind of saying this, because they're supposed to actually come on Saturday. And so we're going to help them out with, um, cleaning out some things for their old house too. And so, boom, got Saturday all scheduled out. And then he reminded me Friday, we got furniture coming. Furniture is being delivered hallelujah okay i'm super excited for this piece as well and then too we have y'all know those i told y'all we have some house repairs we got another house repair that's actually getting done and it's more so a cosmetic thing actually all of these are cosmetic things and i shouldn't even call them repairs they're more so things that we just want to change <laughs> so that's what's happening and then i put in that i need to leave by five o'clock to make it to the game on time all right, so now y'all, I feel like I'm I'm pretty good with all my thoughts and everything. And the one final thing, I was like, I need to call my mama and my daddy or my brother and sister just to check in on them, like check in on the family and stuff. Like that's something I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna actually write that in on Tuesday, even though I might do that earlier in the week. And then also something that I didn't include, me and my husband, as y'all can see, we don't really have a date night scheduled. So typically when we don't have a date night scheduled, we could do it on Saturday. But because we know family will be coming, we don't want to like interrupt that. So we're going to try to like just have a little lunch day. And then Wednesday was what worked for him. So I'm going to put that on Wednesday. So boom, I feel like I am all good and set to go for the week, you guys. So here's what I've learned, okay, about the dashboard. This spread was basically a fill-in spread. I did not have to do any decorative planning. I had tons of room to write all my needs out, so I really like that. I feel even a little bit more organized with the whole scheduling block at the top, so that was really nice. And then, too, I was able to do this in one sitting, you guys. So now all I got to do is check things off. So that was really, really nice. I recommend the dashboard for functional planning. All right, Bessie, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe and share it with a friend that you think will find this helpful and definitely comment below let me know how you feel about the dashboard and did this after the pen process help you i would love to hear from you and as always i want to thank you guys for being so sweet and so kind i love you bye